Hello everyone, I'm glad to be here again, this time to talk about tests. I received a couple comments questioning me about each test stack I'm using on those videos and if those are the same that I'm using on production. Yes, I'm using my favorite frameworks, that is JUnit Jupyter with a set for j and today I will talk about those a little bit deeper. Let's see the code. If you remember, my previous video was about Javadoc, where I showed the capabilities of Javadoc. It is pretty similar to C++ and C, however, you're able to put more details like the add button, add rows, add scenes, add version, and so on. Uh, I have my plain Maven product to run in Java C. Those are the minimum that I usually have or that I usually use. Furthermore, it depends of the product but sometimes I will include the test container to test a run integration test, uh, some JSON API test, some REST assurance to test microservice, and so on. Okay, uh, the minimal on my test stack are JUnit Jupyter, the engine the params that I'm going to show, Mokito, uh, the integration with JUnity Jupyter, and assert J. Okay, those are my three favorite libraries that usually go with me. It doesn't matter where I go. Of course, there are exceptions like legacy, but once I have time, once I have opportunity, I try to use those again. JUnit Jupyter, the latest version, uh, the params that I'm going to show, Mokito to mock something, and finally, asterisk for j Again, those three are the minimum. Sometimes I will put test container or more library tests. Okay, let's go to the code. If you remember the previous video, we show the capabilities of Javadoc, we put a couple of documentation here, and we created the chain of the soccer team domain and let test it. So the first step is let create, oops, let create a test. I will come here, create a test, public void. I usually start my method with the should to make sure my behavior is running where the way that I'm expecting. So should create an empty team where I will create a team by year and then I will make my life easier creating effective method. The main focus here is not to use CDD, you're able to use uh, to create tests before or after you are doing code. What matter is to you have tests. Sometimes I prefer to use CDD, sometimes not. So I will start with exceptions. So assert equals, uh, my team should be Bahia, and that equals the Bahia name. On production, on reality, it, it doesn't make sense to test get and set there, so you're able to skip this way, this one, okay? Just make, just that test what you're not sure about the behavior or it's related to the business. So it should create a team. I use by year here. 
is empty. So I will come here. Name. I will create my chain from this factored method. Oops. Required. And then a new array list. So that is it. Maybe I import the wrong one. No, no, it's right. Let me check what's going on. Okay, I forgot to close the parentheses here. Don't, uh, don't forget to use documentation when it, it makes sense. For example, here I, I want to create something, create an empty team, the team's name, a team instance. Just put uh, documentation when it makes sense. I'm just exploring the capability of team. If you wish, you're able to, to use the add deprecated. Please use team instead. Okay. This is just a small sample, and that's the, full, the main goal of this presentation. So I come here to return a boolean. Oops, I need to return true. Okay, so let's execute this test. I'm using the just a Jupyter one here, and that is it. The next step is to use asset for J, where I will should create players. Uh, if you are using the unit 4, you might know Matchers, the library to explore features on Assert that to integrate with collection. Assert 4J is able to do that and go even beyond with several capabilities such as it has a fluent API that works nicely that I'm gonna show to you briefly. Okay, so it has play team. I will create the same here. Team Bahia. I will add a player of Neymar from Santos. Hopefully it is Santos, I don't know. And then Cristiano Ronaldo. Oops. Um, I guess it's Lisbon and then I will use my assertion of assess J I'm gonna use my assert that I will come here with Bahia players as you can see I have a couple of capabilities for example contains where I can check the players contains exactly to check the price precisely the order I would do the mapping uh, check any condition check the instance uh, and so on is not a condition as you can see it works on fluid API my first step is to check the size so it should have should have two and then 
I can map the player by the name to finally check if it contains Neymar and Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's execute again. Oops. I got something wrong here. Let me check if I do it correctly. Oops, I forget to implement. Object required a new player. Player is required. And then I come here on my players, player. And that is it. I will run again. And we are done. Okay, let's move on to the, the last one that is to mock Mokito. Imagine right now that I have I have my team, I have my player, and then I will have my championship, my league. Okay, so I have my championship service. This one here will be my class where it will inject my champion uh, repository. My repository. You can use your imagination here if you want belongs to Spring, Jakarta Data, uh, Genosico, whatever. So I will create my no this one here. You'll be my interface. And basically what I want to do is register a team in the champion league. Okay, public fight, register, team, team. The idea is to check if there is a team with that name. If there is not, please go ahead. So I can come here. If repository exists by name team name I will throw an exception right the champion league has a, a team with this name so find another one if not you are able to repository save save my team okay I will create both methods <laughs> that is it so I had a typo here and let's create the test once I'm talking about the unit tests I don't want to start a database, a framework to test my class, especially because it's a unit test. It should focus on the unit. Based on that, I will create a mock. Okay. I will come here. I will use Jupyter extension. So extend with Mokito extension and then I will inject my champion repository I as a mock and I have my championship service that will inject the mock okay on my service, what I do have on my mind are two scenarios. When one that I I don't have any team with this name, and another one when I do have a team with this name. So 
public void should register. Uh, and then public void should throw an exception when team name exists. Okay. Once I'm talk about Jupyter, if you prefer, you are able to put a, a better description. So should return an exception when that is a chain with that with a name okay the next step is to use mojito on this case here when repository uh, go by here then it should return true okay now I will have my service here. I will create my chain of chain by here. And execute. Okay, you should not throw an exception. And another point, I need to make sure that the repository. Uh, execute this method here. So I will, oops, no, it's way, it's way here. Let execute this method. Oops, is opposite, right? So it should not be here, should be false. Let execute again. Here you go. Let's use the power of copy paste. On this case, I will return true. And I can do the exceptions, assess, throw illegal argument exception. And move the register to here. Right now, I'm I'm saying that return true, check by here, and then execute, and then I will verify. Mokito is much more powerful than that. We're able to capture the parameter to check if the parameter was used correctly okay so it's just an overview the goal is to keep short videos with java tips and architecture tips so it's unexpected troll okay wrong one sorry i put legal state should be illegal argument exception let execute again And that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, we went in three of what I prefer to call um, a minimal requirement for me on my Java test stack. Of course, sometimes I need to put more like your test, test container, rest assurance, and so on. Okay, that's all for today. Bye-bye.